Welcome to Okami Sigma. On today's video, we're going to make a salt water cure for feng shui. So I'm going to show you how easy it is and uh, it would help uh, clear out negative energy in your home. So that's one of the benefits. And it would also remove like uh, the Chinese called shachi. Uh, it absorbs uh, negative energy and um, mostly it is used in corners of conflict, uh, negative stars that um, may result into legal issues uh, or robbery or accident or ill health. So that's where you use the salt water cure. So now I'm going to show you how I do this for my home and hopefully uh, you can try it. You can try it and uh, it will uh, help uh, remove any negative energy or blockages in uh, your home so that you can have uh, good fortune and um, money luck and uh, you live with health, wealth, prosperity and abundance. Okay. So let's start our video. Okay, let's begin. So first thing we do is we will have to have the uh, things that we are going to use for the salt water cure. Okay, so earlier um, I prepared the materials. So first we need a container, which is glass, ideally. Okay. So I got here a few glasses. So the glasses, um, depending on the area that you're putting in. So my place is quite small. So I'm using just these small glasses so that it will fit the area where I'm going to place the cure. So let's say if you're placing it in a corner, so the glass should be the right size for that particular corner so that it won't uh, uh, let's say take amount uh, take it won't uh, take a lot of space or just the right amount have the right amount of space for the cure to be placed in undisturbed and it won't be an obstacle as well so make sure you place it in a very uh, safe corner so that it won't spill or it won't uh, be knocked off. Okay, next you will need okay Chinese coins. Okay, so Chinese coins. So these are emperor coins. They're made out of bronze. Okay, all right. So um, if you look at the coin, these are virtues. Okay, so I'm not going to go on to detail on to each virtue. Okay, uh, but you see the square there. Uh, those are equal sides. Okay, that the whole um, square usually represents stability. Okay, and uh, this also um, uh, shows the directions, the eight directions, the four major directions, and the six. Uh, so that's what the uh, square would represent and then the circle is of course it's a protective uh, geometry okay okay so those are some of the things that are incorporated in the chinese coins so that's what makes it lucky now also the metal is um, bronze so it has to be chinese coins because of the symbolism and also the chemical reaction that it will have with salt and water okay so we're gonna need about six of these coins all right so I have six coins for each glass so total okay so I had to get so I had to get 18 of these coins uh, in order to uh, create this video and get uh, those corners of mine uh, 
cured. Okay, those uh, negative star corners. Now, um, all right, so this one, okay, I'm going to put this in the uh, north. Okay, this is, uh, I believe, the north in uh, for this year. Okay, uh, the north is the the three killings okay if i'm not mistaken yes okay so this is for the three killings uh negative star and then this one i'm gonna place this on the uh, west side which is the um uh the, the negative star corner for uh robbery accidents uh, theft and uh, uh legal issues Okay, now this one, I'm going to place this in the, okay, the uh, negative star corner for uh, like uh, accidents and health, uh, and health issues. Okay, so we're going to place them on these corners. So every year it changes. So you're going to have to uh, check uh, the feng shui astrology uh, in order to determine which are the negative stars so that um, you can actually um, make these cures so that uh, it will absorb any negative energy in your home now okay uh, the first thing that we'll do okay is place some salts now I have two kinds of salts to make this uh, okay we have our regular sea salt so don't use iodized salt or processed salt so sea salt and then we're gonna top it off okay so make it i have himalayan salt pink salt so so this one would have uh okay very very uh different effects so so more of uh, this salt removing the negative energy. Well, same as this one, but uh, the uh, pink salt makes the energy soft and kind of uh, like a loving or caring energy, okay, because of its color. Okay, so, all right. And then uh, we're going to do... Uh, a little activation prayer okay so I have here a clear quartz crystal so I'm gonna use this to uh, uh, place a mantra uh, and a holy seal on the salt water cure now this is a uh, my way of uh, doing the cure so I also have okay, cleanse water over here Okay, so this water is cleansed, so we're gonna also make it like a holy water. Okay, so the uh, cure would be a lot more potent and more strong. Okay, it would be stronger. Okay, than your regular cure. So we're gonna place the regular sea salt first as the base. So I'm gonna use this this spoon to. Make sure okay by one okay two three okay so okay you have to make sure that okay you have a balance here so let's use numerology since we have six coins let's okay, do six okay six scoops okay six spoons one two Make sure it's even. Okay. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, six. Now this glass is a little bit smaller, so I'll just put three. One. Two. Okay, I think it's, it can still accommodate three more spoons. And let's, so that it would be all six scoops. One, two, three. Okay. All right, I'm uh, spilling salt all over the place. Okay, let's uh, clean that up. Okay. All right. All right. Next, we will add the uh, pink Himalayan salt. Now, this is about 100 grams, so we'll just make equal distributions. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that looks great. Okay. One. Two, okay, three. So you can see I'm equally distributing it in the surface. So one, two. Mm, three. Okay. All right. Okay. Next, we're going to place in the coins. So, you can place it like so. Make sure the characters are on facing upwards. So, one, two, three. Four, five, okay, six. So, all right. So six is a very six is also in numerology. Six is a number of victory, also success, and six is also a number of uh, equality or balance. So that's the reason why. Okay, those are the, that's the reason why these numbers, like the 369 numbers, these are very, very auspicious numbers. Okay, so there. Okay, six. All right. Okay, let go on. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, oh, sorry about that. Okay, we got our. Alright. We got our coins there. So now we will add. Let's. Let's tidy up a bit and remove some of the extra salt. Okay. All right, so um, we will place the cleansed water. 
Okay, so don't worry. Okay. Alright. It's gonna get a little bit messed up, but don't worry. So, or you can try to pour uh, from the coin or in the center or pour gently. Thanks. So I think that's enough. Okay. Right. And then this one. Uh, sorry about the noise. There's some construction. I got uh, two buildings being constructed in our area. One is right next to our building. Okay, so we got that done. So, all right. See, it's so beautiful. Now, okay, over the course of time, Okay, over the course of time, there's going to be a chemical reaction here. So you'll see the the entire glass crystallize. So it's going to form crystals. So don't don't worry about it. Just uh, leave it as it is. Um, it's going to come out uh, beautifully. Now, let's place in... Okay. Okay, I'm going to use my pendulum here. Okay. And let's place in our divine symbols, okay, and do a little mantra or prayer, okay, so I call to the divine, blessed divine father. So let's make a triangle, blessed divine mother. Blessed divine mother. As a divine child of creation, Yahweh, Yahusha, Yahweh, Yahusha, Yahweh, Yahusha. Okay. Okay, blessed divine, blessed divine Father, blessed divine Mother, please make this water holy. Okay, so I stirred six times clockwise so that it will be infused with positive energy. Okay, all right. All right, and then I'm going to use the pendulum. Okay, I command this pendulum, okay, to increase positive energies in these water cures. Increase positive energies. And these water cures. So that it will absorb and remove negativity in our home. And bless our home with good fortune. Okay, now look at the um, reaction of the crystal. Okay, so I'm not turning this. It's just actually spinning on its own. So you just wait for the the pendulum to stop. Okay. All right, thank you, Spirit. Okay. And then we will charge and infuse with Reiki energy. Okay. Blessed Divine Father, Blessed Divine Mother, Blessed Divine Child of Creation. I call for the Archangels of the Four Corners of the Universe, Archangel Raphael, 
God's Divine Healing, Archangel Michael, God's Divine Protection, Archangel Gabriel, God's Divine Strength, and Archangel Uriel, God's Divine Light. I call for the protection of the Archangels to bless these waters with these energies and the intention to bring harmony, balance, abundance, wealth, and prosperity in our home. So, I'm charging the water and infusing it with my intentions. Okay, now, for some of you who are not familiar with Reiki, so this is our life force energy that we're, we're using here. So this is my life force energy. Okay, coupled with intent. Okay, so the universe is mental, so it's about mind. So you can transfer your intentions. Now, my energy and my electromagnetic field is interacting with the uh, salt crystals and the water. So the water stores the intentions and the crystals provide the energy. So now I'm going to describe my feeling when I do this. So I can feel the electromagnetic field, mine and as well as the water solutions. The water cure so there's like a force field or some invisible force beneath my palm and in between and around the salt water cure okay so you will know when you, when it's done um, you're gonna have to use your intuition so and feel feel the energy so I'm trying to Put as much of my energy in. And I think we're done. Alright. So, I hope uh, you learned something from this video. And please do try it so that it will help your household to be a lot more peaceful. So, especially now, um, uh, with the coming uh, Chinese New Year, the energies will be shifting. So as the energies shift, uh, so will uh, the uh, chi in our in the environment that we're living in. So as the chi changes, we also need to um, address these areas of negativity. So it's more like a defensive feng shui, so to speak. So once the uh, salt water cures are in place. It will continually absorb the uh, energies, the negative energies, and protect my home. So I hope it can protect your home. All right. So, okay. So how much does it cost? So this, uh, so glass, uh, probably uh, uh, in the Philippines, you could get it for 50 pesos or, or 70 to 50 pesos. Okay. Um, then um, the salt is about uh, the pink salt is about less than 100 and 100 pesos and the salt is about uh, roughly what 10 pesos so very cheap the sea salt and the uh, coins you'll probably uh, get this in a Chinese store um, in a feng shui shop probably the cost around uh, roughly for three coins 100 pesos so that's about um, for six coins about 200 pesos on retail so far that I've checked okay so this one I got um, I actually uh, tried to purchase a um, eight coin uh, eight coin uh, set so the trick is I purchased something like this. It comes in a bundle. Uh, uh, but 
you can modify this. Uh, this comes in eight sets, so it's gonna cost you around two hundred bucks. So that's a lot cheaper compared to uh, buying in sets of threes, which is hundred bucks. Now um, you get extra two coins. So I got uh, three of these and then broke it broke it down so that I could get all six cures up. Now with the remaining six coins, I'm gonna still be able to use this and hang it on the um, either the west uh, west corner or the uh, number five star or the uh, center of our home and this will uh, bring in uh, positive energy okay and good fortune okay so this is also lucky you see these nuts okay this is very auspicious for the Chinese so Okay, now the red is auspicious. So, so we got uh, coins that are used to remove negative energy, and you got you can also use coins to attract wealth and abundance, like money luck. Okay, all right. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, in this channel, we're all about uh, being the enlightened warrior. So uh, I hope this brings a little bit of enlightenment and would uh, add to your arsenal of knowledge. Okay, so thank you for watching Okami Sigma, and I hope you have a very prosperous new year.